A pot socks have been on fire. Just look at what they've done since the Georgia Senate runoff election. Names like True Leaf, Cure Leaf, Green Thumb Industries, all up more than 20 percent. And check out Cresco Labs. That stock is up more than 35 percent in just the past month. Joining us now in a Fast Money exclusive is Charles Bactel, the CEO of Cresco Labs. Charlie, great to see you. Well, thank you for having me. Good to be here. Um, with uh, the Dems controlling both houses, what changes for the industry exactly? You know, I, I think what it what it provides is a, a a pretty clear path forward for a more progressive approach to cannabis. Uh, and there's a couple of different directions that it could go. You know, there's there's definitely banking reform that is anticipated to be in the near future. But as it as it comes to a broadening of the the, the legalization and approach to cannabis across the country, there's a path forward with the uh, Democratic executive branch and, and now with control of the Senate as well. Do you think that the run um, that these stocks have seen that we highlighted? Prior to introducing you, Charlie, is that sort of the foregone conclusion that there will be more access to the capital markets for the industry because of a Democratic Senate and House? Is that what the stocks are telling us, do you think? Yeah, I, I think what you're seeing here is is uh, the acceptability and the, the, the public uh, sort of perception on cannabis has changed dramatically in the last decade. And what you have is you have a U.S. Uh, industry that is developed with very professional, very robust, capable uh, organizations that are executing at a great level, that are building phenomenal businesses with phenomenal teams that are employing, uh, at this point, over 300,000 uh, employees in the sector across the country, generating billions of dollars in revenue. And it's still federally illegal. It's unbanked to a great extent. And it doesn't have access to traditional institutional capital or even really the U.S. retail investor. So it, 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 there, there's a disconnect here in the, in the, the value of the, the, the industry that has developed here on U.S. soil and the acceptability and access that is provided to the banking industry. So I, I, we, we do think that's one of the first things that's going to change with the new administration. Hey, Charlie, it's Tim. Thanks for joining us. And, and congrats on the deal in Florida with Bluma, one, uh, Bluma Wellness, one plant. And, and, and again, you know, part of the acquisition there, I believe this is a high quality brand. And, you know, we talk about the CPG dynamic of the cannabis industry. Is that the next wave of re-rating? I mean, a company like yours, you know, in Chicago, you sit right down there on Maine and Maine in the, in the heart of, of kind of the, uh, you know, the, the, the work district between a Starbucks and a T-Mobile. And people are just walking past these stores that are this new consumer class for cannabis that didn't exist. And, and I'm not sure that the multiples even begin to reflect that. Can you speak to that evolution of the industry? Yeah, and you know, I, I appreciate that. I think what you're seeing here is a, is a fairly unique story being told of uh, of growth with profitability and value. It's 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 a great dynamic, um, and it is. It's the maturation of this industry. It's it's operators like Cresco Labs that have been doing this now for seven years that got into the industry with an eye towards creating the next consumer packaged good space, and uh, and and now seven years in, you're starting to see the maturity of these, of these organizations and these marketplaces meet this new consumer where the consumer wants to be met you know so you know whether they're trying it for the first time or the first time in a long time they're getting that consumer experience that they would expect from traditional retail and traditional cpg professional looking brands professional looking packages uh you know very bright open uh retail locations as you mentioned next to a starbucks you know so the the industry is actually meeting this new consumer base where the consumer base wants to be met just quickly, Charlie, if you do get access uh, to the capital markets, how does that change your strategy? Do you foresee more acquisitions, for instance? Do you think smaller brands, well, you'll make a lot more acquisitions of, of smaller sort of brands to, to bolster your presence in, in the top 10 states, let's say? You know, I think it could be a mix of organic growth and acquisitions. It, it, first and foremost, it brings down cost of capital. Mm -hmm. It gives you access to the level of capital that's really needed um, to build out the infrastructure to build what's anticipated to be a hundred billion dollar industry in this country. And so that it'll allow us as, as Cresco Labs to just really move forward with the the business model that we've all we've had since day one, which is to create the most strategic geographic footprint we can create, get meaningful material positions in each of those markets, and doing it by focusing on those middle two verticals of the value chain, which is branded products and the distribution of those products. So it'll just help us accelerate the growth of the organization and the growth of the industry. Charlie, great to see you. Thanks Keep for having me. Keep us posted on everything. Charlie Bactel Thank of you. Cresco Labs. Uh, Tim Seymour, we were talking about banking. Is that a slam dunk? 
Is it is it now um, a clear path to that with with the democratically controlled yes. House and Senate? It is okay. It, it is, and and you know, again, like I'm Long Cresco, and I'm I'm along a lot of the names that we've talked about in the last week. Uh, a billion dollars of equity has been raised in this industry. Uh, Terrasen with a great raise, Cureleaf with a big raise, Columbia Care with big raises. No equity attachments, uh, not major discounts. Growth industry raising growth capital, and the companies were re were rewarded by the market for that. They traded higher in the face of that. So again, capital markets are coming, uh, and I, I do think this is part of the move higher. But again, it's companies like Cresco that are executing in this major, major growth industry. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.